What's going on? Thanks for checking out this video. Real quick, I'm going to show you how we install plexiglasses to keep iguanas from coming to and from your yard. Also, I'm going to show you a quick hunt using some cantaloupe to lure out some iguanas. Is that a year ago? Maybe it is about a year ago that I came here. Um, and we got iguanas. I think we took 21 from here. Um, we only shot two or three. Most of them were in traps. And uh, she had them going under her deck, messing up the deck. So the, the, the tiles around the pool are starting to fall in. He's over here. There he goes. There was one right over here and he jumped in. There had been two of one, but I thought the other one was over there. Okay. Just to give you an idea of where we are at. Beautiful intercoastal. These iguanas are coming out here sunbathing on all of these docks. It's not really the main issue, but check this out. Health hazard, especially if you have a beautiful swimming pick in the old turds. There we go. Now it's time for us to install this plexiglass. These houses along a seawall, and a lot of people don't have a lot of habitat for iguanas in their yard, but they have a little bit of food. She has these two bougainvilleas and some hibiscus that the iguanas eat, but she didn't have any trees for them to live in. So at night, they go somewhere else, but during the day, they come here to eat. So if she can just block them from coming in the yard easily, she's good. If you see, she has a solid wall here. So the iguanas would have to choose to get on the bushes and climb over, which of course they can, but a lot of times they're lazy and don't. So whenever we install this plax, this plastic plexiglass type material here, it's uh, gonna prevent iguanas from freely running through. Yes, they have ways around, but it gives people a really good result like putting up a solid fence. So it doesn't impede the view of the neighbors either. So we got permission from the neighbors to attach this to their fencing for this custom. The plexiglass fits like perfectly to cover all the holes as much as we could. And then this way it even prevents them from walking this edge that they obviously like to walk because you can see the poop on the edges. So they have to, when they try to do the Spider-Man crawl right there, they have to be small enough to make it under that edge. Some customers can go ahead and pull it down very easily with some help from like a maintenance guy. And then they can also put it back up themselves or we return to put it up. I would normally use black here because it blends with that uh, black pole so the neighbor doesn't see any marks on his. I didn't even know it was there because it was, I mean, now it's been here for a little while. So it's got some streaks and this brand new, it is so such clear glass. This is almost bulletproof. Almost bulletproof? Almost bulletproof. That cantaloupe really helped out. It brought all the iguanas out the mangroves, and that's where we were able to get them. 